when Jesus Christ was on earth here, all the time it is he speaking the word of God. And that was why God said, I've not given him the spirit by mail. He asked the fullness of the spirit. Anytime he opens his mouth, it's God's word that comes there because it's God that is living inside him. This is one of the ways I know people when I listen to you, somebody advising me, somebody talking to me on phone. I want to know whether it is the Holy Spirit that is inside you or demons. How do I know by what you are saying? Because if I check my Bible and it's not there, then I know that you are talking, you are representing a devil, not a God. Because anybody that represents God only speaks the word of God. Let me show you uh, one more uh, uh, this thing. Uh, let me show you uh, two, two scriptures before I close this, uh, this thing. First Timothy 3. Let's see, First Timothy 3. I'm going to read from the Amplified. First Timothy 3. First Timothy 3, verse 16. First Timothy 316, Amplified Classic. He said, And great and important and witty, we confess, is the hidden truth, the mystic secret of Godliness. He, God, was made visible in one flesh. That was when Christ was alive there. Then, justified and vindicated in the Holy Spirit, was seen by angels, preached among the nation, believed on the world, and was taken up to glory. Now, the word I want to emphasize here is that uh, justified and vindicated in the Holy Spirit. What does it mean to be justified in the Spirit? That is to say, before you can see the power of God work on what you are saying, what you say, eh, it is the Spirit, the Bible says, it is the Spirit that quickens. The word that I say, they are spirit and life. It means that when you speak the word of God, before you can see the power of God flow to that side, the Holy Spirit will have to check whether what you are saying agree with what the word says. Otherwise, the Holy Spirit will not be there. If you read Luke chapter 5 verse 17, the Bible says, when Jesus Christ, let, let's read the place. Let me show you so that uh, because of a uh, uh, time, I want to show you one place more before I close. Uh, Luke chapter five verse seventeen. Five seventeen. Let me show you what the Bible says there. Luke chapter five verse seventeen. Luke five seventeen. He said, one of those days, as he was teaching, he was talking about Jesus Christ. You read from the beginning. There were Pharisees and teachers of the law. Luke chapter 5 verse 17, Amplified Classic Translation. One of these days, as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who came, who had come from every village and town of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present with him to heal them. You see, do you see why the Holy Spirit come to that service? Because they were preaching the gospel there. There was no record where any Pharisee performed miracle there. There was no record in the Bible because they are evil creeds. They know what the Bible says, but they tell the people and they manufacture their own. As I, as I continue, you see, they manufacture their own word and they give it. They are like devil. They manufacture their word and give it to the people. That's why the Holy Spirit does something. Because in order to get the ministry of the Spirit in your life, in your work, in your church, you need to preach the word of God correctly. Tell people the truth. That's when the Holy Spirit will flow. So he said, justify in the spirit. Every word that Jesus Christ say approved from God. And that's why you see the ministry of God of the Holy Spirit in his uh, ministry. So, if you are a pastor now, see, as a pastor or a Christian, preaching, you are preaching or advise somebody, if it is not if it is not approved by the Holy Spirit, or if it's not approved by the Holy Spirit, you are just wasting your time. You are on your own. You have declared independence from a God that sent you as a man, like the devil. So, religion is man's effort to reach God. In religion, people set the standard. But in Christianity, God set the standard and will follow. That's one thing I want to know about Christianity and religion. Everybody do it the way they like. It may be this they, they like it. So, it is them that set the rule for their God. But in Christianity, God set the rule for us and we and follow. See, how can you advise God that make your medulla or biologanta? What do you want to tell God? See, people say, let us be reasonable. After God has told us what to do and how to do it. That's it. That's one thing. That's religion. People manufacture their God. Some people have their own God. They put their in the pocket. But our God is what that carries us. Why people carry their own God? Now, people say, before I close, let me, let me quickly show you uh, uh, this uh, few pieces here. Uh, people say, Pastor, 
Uh, we are serving the same God. And I ask them, which God are you talking about? Because you have to describe your own God. You see the God in the Bible or the God that is on Google? Which God are you talking about? Now, if the same God that you are serving, why are you treating me like this? If you are serving the same God, why are you treating your wife like this? Why are you treating your husband like this? If all the pastors, as you have claimed, that we are serving the same God, why are pastors fighting over and over to the extent that they want to kill themselves? If the same God that we are serving, why are you enjoying it? And your neighbor is the big and quick that you cannot do anything about it. Now, I want to know the God that you are serving, like the, 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 uh, the, 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 the woman that, uh, the, the person that was robbed. And the pastor was going to church. The good Samaritan had preached it last time. The pastor was going to church. I, I, I ask, are, are, you, are we serving the same God? Which God are you going to serve that will not allow you to go, that will not allow you to, to help the person that was, uh, that was uh, that's, that's in trouble? That's my question. So if you, you have something to be, why are you, are you trying to collect the husband of your of your friend or somebody else? Why can't you look for your husband? Is that what your God tells you in your own Bible? Because God tells us how we well do. You. So how do you know whether God, the people are serving the same God of the Bible? Is look at the way they are living their life. Look at the way they treat people. Look at the way it should be they even come to church to rob somebody in the church. I will say all of us are serving the same God. No, not the same God. We are not serving the same God. You, you must have your own God. It's not the God of God because the God of God tells us how to live and we need to follow what he said. See, some people say, no, no, no. Why can't you help her? Some people say, if, or before I help the lady, I have to sleep with her. That, you are, that means you are a devil. Because if it is God that gives you the money, you must not give people condition before you help them. It may be a woman that say, unless he sleep with me, I'm not going to help him. Then you need to check the God that is serving and the Bible you are reading. If the same Bible that you are reading, then the way you are acting does not show whether you are reading the Bible or you have your own Bible as you have your God. See? So that is not my own God. Everybody has their own God. Because the way you are living and the way that God that God describes how to live, they are too all in line. See? Why are you dressing like this as a prostitute if it's the same God that was having? Because the Bible tells us how to dress. Why are you living like this? See? So your lifestyle will describe whether the God that was serving are the same thing. Because God tells us what to do. If you are serving the same God, then you must be acting the same way. In the next video, I'm going to show you an example of what Jesus Christ said and how people actually show that truly. They are not serving the same God. Let me read this uh, one place last before I close this one. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. I will read from the King James. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. I will read it from the King James uh, Bible as we close. Or this, this video. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. I read from uh, King James. Please open your Bible to Amos chapter 3 verse 3. He says, I read from the King James. He says, Can two work together except they be agreed? See, how can you work with God and the way you are behaving is opposite to what he said in his word? How can you say we are serving the same God? You must have your own God that you are serving. So, in this uh, first video, I want you to please, this is just the introduction, watch the part two. There, I'm going to say a lot of stuff that you see is different between Christianity and religion. I believe to tell us from this video is that uh, many people are confused Christianity with religion because when we are young, they say you used to tell us that uh, faith is from the same religion, they say Christianity, Muslim, Hindu, whatever, and it's Christianity. But Christianity is not religion. Religion means religion started. What is the source of religion? What, where did it start? It started in the Garden of Eden. God told Adam. Do not eat the fruit. And when Adam was passing information to the wife, he did not tell the wife exactly. And because of that, he did not tell the correct truth. The wife did not know the truth. And because of that, when the devil came, the wife said something that God did not say. Say, 
God said we should not touch that. That was not what God said. And the only way to defeat the devil is to say ah, exactly what God said. That is the problem of this. The Bible says you will err when you don't know the scripture. The devil is looking for opportunity to enter you when you don't know what the Bible says. The reason why Jesus Christ was able to defeat the devil was that because as he was saying, Jesus Christ was quoting the scripture accurately. And I tell us who is a Christian. A Christian is a partaker of divine nature. That is divinity alive in the humanity. That is to say, what happened in the Garden of Eden was that uh, the devil came and gave the de- uh, 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 Adam and Eve his nature. They lost the nature of righteousness and had the nature of sin, and because of that, they cannot dominate. Sickness dominated them. Demons dominated them. But when Christ came back, he came to introduce it back to us. That is what we are reading in 2 Peter chapter 2, from verse 1 to 4. We are now particular of divine nature. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, If any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. And in order for you, the devil to respect you, you have to see yourself the way God sees you. Otherwise, you are in trouble. Because God is the final. Again, Christianity means God was in Christ. It was not Christ that was doing the work. God was in Christ, reconciling the people back to himself. The devil entered into the serpent to reconcile the people, to, the, to reconcile Adam and Eve to him. God now came also, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 19, to reconcile the people back to himself through Christ. So, when Christ was on earth, how do you know that somebody God somebody that God said, the person must be speaking the word of God? So, because born again means the Holy Spirit are come to you to walk through you. So, how can you say you are speaking the word of God? What can you say you are a Christian, you are working for God when you are speaking something that is not from the scripture? The Bible says, he, John chapter 3, verse 31 to 34, say, He who God said, speak the word of God only. And when Jesus Christ was on earth, the Bible says in 1 Timothy 3, verse 16, He said, Justified in the spirit. That is to say, did you see why the power of God was flowing? But everything that he said, the Holy Spirit in the spirit realm are proofless. Whatever we ask in the physical, this power that back it is the spirit of God. So if what you are saying does not agree with the scripture, you will not see the power. That's why some of the things you are asking for does not work because you don't know what God say actually in that way. And I conclude that some people say, Pastor, we are serving the same God. But the way you are treating me, you are acting like the devil. You say we are serving the same God. You see your neighbor near, you say, I, 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 no, I, I know how to work for my money. I have to work for my money. Somebody is dying. Somebody is sick. You cannot read that person. And you say you are a Christian. So, the God, if you say you are serving the same God, we must be behaving like that God. So, if you are not acting like God, then it's not God. It's not, you are not serving the same God. In the next class, I want you to watch. Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says that uh, can two work together except they agree. You see, if you don't agree with God, then you, are, you must agree with the devil. That's it. You cannot be on the, on the fence. I hope this uh, video has blessed you. Some people, they say, unless the lady I sleep with her, before I help her, you are a devil. Because that is not the way God has. That will say, for God so long. He said, while we are sinner, God sent help to us. He doesn't get anything from us because he bless us. Before he bless us. But if you insist that before you can do that thing, somebody has to sleep with you or you sleep with that person, then you are a devil. It means you are not serving the same God. You have your own God. Because the God, if it's the same God, he did not act out or act like that. I want you to share. That's one way to know somebody who's a Christian. The person who says we are serving the same God, are you acting like the God that you say we are serving? So please watch part two of this video. That's where the bomb is going to explode. I hope this, this video has uh, helped you. My name is Pastor Cole Dishon from Arlington, Texas, United States of America. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let people see. The, the correct definition of Christianity. Read it again and again and again and again. Listen to it again and again. I have some of my pastor. I have you know, one of uh, Pastor Chris Wacklum, one of my mentor. I have some of his mates I have listened to more than 500 times. You see my car. Again and again and again. That is what how to get the impact. God bless you. Jesus name.